Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legend Difficulty. And it is going okay, I would say. We are up for another scavenger site. It is one with extreme threat level though. So we don't want to mess this one up. Take as many crates as you can and then evacuate. We got uh, the uh, Tiamat squad and instead of coming with a buggy we brought uh, um, inappropriate Murphy with us and I think I'm just going to change the name into that good Anyways, we got inappropriate Murphy, Jim the Hammer, uh, Yulot, an Asian cow with us, uh, three newcomers that are going to go in for the first time. Little Green is going to lead the show. We still have a golem helmet here, that's not good. And in terms of armor, let's give him a Benchy helmet, thank you. And Hexer has already a Banshee helmet. Okay, both of them do have the big guns, the Hell, uh, Hellfire 2 cannons. We got the helmet that uh, will give everyone frenzy. Ender Sanders has that, together with his pistols. Okay, cool, that works well. And Tyler Triggerfinger is ready as well just wondering do we need another helmet for him that's no accuracy 20 and six accuracy oh yeah we're going to take the six accuracy uh, does he get a better weapon do we have one Air Ares. Well, I think he has the only uh, assault rifle that we do have available at the moment. Which is a shame. Good, we can't capture any aliens anyways, so let's not get too hung up about that. Instead, we're deploying the squad and are going in. Good, we landed. Already seeing the first few enemies. Oh no, thousand hit points, wow. So what can we realistically gather this year? These three are pretty much out of question. This and this might be realistic. Instilling <laughs> frenzy. Okay, we got to be careful here. So that's one. And that's the second container. Cool, got a sniper rifle, a little bit of pistol and other ammunition. Fair enough. Double time. We're immediately withdrawing a little bit further. Advancing. Now both are encumbered, but that's okay. Tyler moves to here. In my sights. Let's 
seems as if almost everything is heavily armored. Yet evacuating. It's a pretty shameful display I'll that I need to immediately go out, but believe me, Let's go. without our buggy, I don't know how we would stand here for a longer, for an extended period of time. Specifically, I'll if sirens come I'll around. Open. I don't want anyone to be mind controlled and then we're losing someone on a on a scavenge hunt. This just doesn't make any sense. Wow, even more of those. They have incredible movement. Uh, standing by. All right, Asian cow heals himself. You're gone, buddy. And then Evex. Just like that. So that's not the right gun against uh, the worms. I think we can all agree on it. Moving in. And out. And out. Receiving. Tyler trigger finger. Gets rid of this guy. I can make a difference. Kill. Yeah, well, two chests, guys. Not the most exciting mission, but as you can see, we're getting some experience and 50, 150 as base experience. Okay, so. We got 500 resources out of it overall, <clears throat> and we even got a sniper, plus a few magazines. Really nothing to write home about, but since I realized that you don't need to kill the aliens, but just need to grab the stuff and move out, my tactics have changed quite a bit. Nothing useful was found, okay.
Our operators have discovered the Grand Temple of Pan Cosmic Ostara, a compound belonging to the nature worshipping cult that arose in the late 2010s. It's hard to tell whether the uh, compound is occupied. The cultists uh, reject electricity as unnatural and refuse to perform any repairs on buildings they owned. Compound houses over 100 beds and there are decayed corpses in every one of them. Uh, with a plastic bag round around its head to symbolize ecological disaster. It seems the Austerians followed through on their belief that humanity was a virus in committing mass suicide. There was absolutely nothing of value here. That's pretty harsh. Good. A heavily fortified building explored by our operators have turned out to be an abandoned server farm <clears throat> for social media platform Plapper. Oh, they're making fun of social media. That is so fitting. Which has collapsed in the mid-2020s. Millions of short messages are archived here documenting um, the detail of lives of the pre-war mid-classes. Is this information worth, uh, worth preserving or should it just take all the spare parts we need? <clears throat> take what we need. Okay, it would take a long, long, long time to fly over there. And we have the slowest aircraft of all. But we could use the time in order to activate a base here. I wanted to do that anyways. No, I, I wanted to upgrade personnel. Shattered Realm. We'll take the Vengeance Torso for melee attacks. And the Leap Frog Legs, <coughs> Propeller Legs. And then the Vengeance Torso. A little bit lower accuracy. These guys here have 20 armor. These have 22 armor. Um, you know the Comet Matrix is just too good. Looks a bit strange to see someone <clears throat> just ahead on a metal torso. Sorry, Shattered Realm, but uh, it was in order to make you stronger and better and rebuild you with even more parts. Well, at least we got the encumbrance out of the way. So, what we want now. Phoenix par uh, Paralyzing Melee Weapon. Uh, that is not bad. We need that a bit later. But we want the hammer. There we go. Maddox's Fist. Good. In terms of personal, that also means Asian Cow needs to give his hammer over to Shattered Realm. Very nice. So, we'll get another one of these. And look, 
I think we can even give him explosives later. For now we're fine. But boy oh boy, this is going to just be incredibly destructive. Maduk's fist. We still got material left over. Good, Grell is a little bit slower than Shattered Realm, who now should actually be relatively fast with all of uh, the upgrades and relatively accurate. I think the overall build is just fantastic. I really like how this is coming together. <clears throat> I can also get him uh, into explosives that would be perfect already got ready for uh, ready for action just need to get him into explosives and if we were to upgrade Ian the Butcher owns <clears throat> I think it's quite clear that we're again going to take the rocket leap boots uh, the propeller legs are just by far the best ones yeah not even a close second but the question that I'm uh, that I'm curious is are we then maybe taking that plus the juggernaut torso because we are we're also having heavy training well we could do the same ordeal and maybe that's the right play just giving him the same torso Yeah, it's potentially the right play. Anyways, we got Inappropriate Murphy learning Mind Control. Well, that's a really good option. A little bit more health will go a long way. Okay, back to what I was saying earlier. We now have the unique option to build up another base here and then we can fly the guys over I don't have any other missions here so there isn't that much unless I'm starting to raid the havens on the other hand the moment that the Pandorans attack again we're screwed. Too far away to be reached directly. Okay, well, apparently there... There is a maximum distance that we can travel. If we now turn around, it won't make any sense. Hmm. Why does it always need to be so complicated here? I want to activate the base. So let's fly over here. We could also activate the base here. Research complete. Okay, can directly affect uh, enemies. Did we get any anything out of that research? Capture Pandoran with psychic abilities. Okay, well, maybe that is how you upgrade it. We could definitely activate the base here.
Okay. We need to clear out the infestation. Well, I like what I'm seeing. That's exactly the type of mission we are looking for. Trade here. Four. Two for ten is good. Four for six is generally good, but not now. I need the food. Threat level high. Enemies Pandorans. Eliminate any Pandoran entities within the base uh, and protect as many key structures as possible. We're going to do that right now because it is so little time that has passed so i'll just extend this episode here we go and yeah the brother squad good we landed finally a base find so we got a nice little large base here Well, it's rather little and rather one way forward -ish. Ready for action. Um, Ready to roll. Good. And so frenzy. Here we go. Everybody is frenzied. Nicely into position. Okay, interesting. You can go up here and then move all the way to here. Okay. Asian cow has lost his hammer, which is unfortunate. Position over here. My turn. Okay. Getting into position, action point, cost reduction, and let's see how well we can hit this guy. Disabled an arm, that's good. We got to keep going. Tyler the trigger finger moves forward. And we're seeing a real form of opposition over there. Overwatching. Good. Big fat overwatch. Our berserkers are moving forward, but not too much forward. Not yet. Just in case someone is coming from here. <clears throat> Sonic Scream Mind Control. Mind Control actually requires you to be relatively close, which I can understand. As well as it would be too strong.
And little green bed packs over here. And take some cover here. Okay, cool. So far the aliens that we're seeing are rather lower uh, lower evolutions. Well, that one is a bit stronger. Okay. I'm on the move. Good, moving in. Confirming target. Free aim. Target missed. Did we miss way. or did we just kill his weapon? Yeah, we killed his weapon. Gain control of an enemy equal to enemy's current willpower. <laughs> Minus 10 willpower, okay. Uh, do I not have enough willpower myself? I do have six. Um, gain control of an enemy's willpower cost equal to enemy's current willpower. Ready to roll. Good. Inappropriate Murphy moves back. I was born ready. Receive your hit. What's our move? Good. War cry. Have to focus. Online. Okay, not good. <clears throat> Repositioning. Asian cow. Confirming target. Target missed. Rolling. 
Let's blast them. Good, we got one melee, one tri uh, triton over here. And the Sanders moves over. Heals his friend for a hundred and four. Oh, nice. All Somehow set. Tyler heals for more than I would have expected. Standing by. Okay, little fireworm so far. The group is okay, but we are lacking really good solid damage outside of melee attacks. Well, that was stupid. That on the other hand... That on the other hand was something. Ready to roll. Easy peasy. Good, we're reducing willpower again. I was born ready. Appropriate Murphy waits for someone to come in. Covering. Overwatch here. Uh, we got enough will points to make his life miserable. And also Overwatch. Playing it safe. If any of these guys are is coming in, oh boy, he's going to have a bad day. Yeah, that's a melee enemy. Unfortunately, we can't really get there. Jim moves back up. Uh, we're dashing. Around the corner. Identifying target. How does that taste? Good. Disabled arm means he can also no longer hit us uh, with a gun. 
Homes online. All I need is a clear shot. Enemy down. Standing by. I'm here. I'm on the move. Good, we're starting to move in. Covering. I'll try to stop them. Moving to coordinates. Andrew Sanders. Overwatching. <sighs> How does he shoot with one arm? Sometimes I don't fully understand the logic of this game. So, shooting with one arm, All set. potentially because uh, these guys have four arms, someone in the dev team thought, you know what, let's make an exception. But then, I would ask you, why doing? would you not adjust the little doll up here when we're fighting against them? Hope I'm not leaving myself exposed. Because the way that it's structured, it sort of suggests you can just disable his arm. And that would be that. Ah, potentially not a good idea with the gas here. Good, moving up. Holding position. <sighs> I think the guy is on top, right? Yeah, not much we can do in order to just to prevent that from being destroyed. Need to rest. Count to ten. Breathe. Okay, cool. There's a letter, but it doesn't lead anywhere. Nice. Dashing ahead. Good, I think there is one more enemy here. I would say time to move up and get him down. Okay. Yeah, I'm Ready not complaining, action. but from all of the potential moves that you could have done, dear enemy, 
That was literally lost. Did we really just miss that guy? Taking aim. That's a key. Switch. Receiving. Rolling. Good. We're moving up. Proceeding. Online. All I need is a clear shot. Free aim. Um. Attack successful. I'm here. On the move. I'm going. All right, still not done. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, well, in that case, let's continue our search. Those guys should have come at the very beginning, it doesn't really matter if they come at the end. Kill all enemies, and we have successfully not protected any key structure. But that was a fun mission, Some, uh, and finally something a bit different. Yeah, that uh, definitely was great. I hope that a base defense mission will happen as well. No items recovered. Good, we could repair those, but it'll require more time, right? Okay, we're flying back. Zenidrian, we are told, are working on ways to repel the mist. This, by itself, is not a sin. We do not condemn it, for the mist is a flood and brings life and death alike. They seek safety for their people, as... But if you push the flood away too far, you will die of stagnation. Sinedrian has forgotten how to look beyond the flood, at the wide sea, at the future. Instead, they look inward, lost in a maze of reflections. What they offer is not salvation. All right, a couple of crazy thoughts. Research complete. Uh, we need to give our fourth base uh, a name. And I would call that Mist Haven, because it is in the middle of a mist. Research complete. Okay, we have 
improved medkit technology or medkits heal 50% more hit points and remove 50% paralysis. Yep, we're going to do that right away. And damage on miss sentinels improved by a couple of percent, 15, right? Yeah, that's that's good in itself. Yeah, we're going to take that mission the next time as we are ready for another deployment. What are the other things that we need to do? Stop in enemy invasion in Mansuet. I wasn't even informed or I did not hear that they were invading. We'll go there right after the mission. Sabotage New Jericho Haven, target energy generator. Hmm, I don't know. Are these ongoing normal missions that we can do? Hmm, I think these three here tell us that we need to uh, need to do th those sabotage missions. Energy generation, heavy training, and energy generation. I think it's just those raid missions, but it will get us into severe disarray with one of uh, them if we were to do that. Okay, then we do have Thunder and Sunshine. Can't get there at the moment. The Rebuke, can't get there at the moment. Bionic Fortress, can't get there at the moment. And Prisoner of Ice, can get there, but that'll take some time. And building up a fourth team. At the moment, manufacturing still needs to get the Goliath done and then really just focus on what we're on what we're currently doing upgrading the prime team and the bases still need to find a better way of getting more material there are a few more harvests here So really what we can do is we can fly to here, then here, and then there. Need to build up that base in order to expand it, and then eventually that base. Could use a base here as well. It's just difficult to cover everything. but. Maybe I'm uh, I'm being impatient and want too much too fast. I would guess once you do have more bases, you also get more income. Maybe there are other ways of doing it other than just flying around and trading stuff, which is pretty time consuming. We also need to build up a buffer of more resources because then you can trade a couple of times and always make a profit. Good. This year will likely be another sabotage mission and we need to get those missions done. I'm not sure if we can help the guys here. Not sure what 25% means. It's almost done. Or if only 25% of the people are uh, mm, are there. Can I play the mission? No. We we would need to get there.
Okay, well, that brings us to the end of today. I hope we can defend the, the Haven if you want to defend the honor of this channel. Leave a like and see you in today's. Bye-bye.